now with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. All right, we've got some changes underway tonight that will begin to unfold tomorrow and at least for the first half of your weekend. But first things first, here's a look at your headlines. We've got a mild night coming up. Matter of fact, for most of us tonight, temperatures will be hard pressed to drop down out of the 60s. And then you see the second headline there. We've been talking about it all week. We've had this gorgeous stretch of weather. Looks like we could see a passing shower tomorrow. And by that, I want to emphasize passing because tomorrow's not going to be a washout. It's not going to be a terribly wet day. A matter of fact, I think some of us won't even see rain tomorrow across the area, and then we'll get the weekend off to a slightly cooler start. Here we are tonight. Here's a look at radar, and you can clearly see where that cool front is tonight, now passing through Chicago on its way towards St. Louis. You can see this thin band of showers along and ahead of it. This is going to fall apart as it moves in our direction, so you don't have to worry about it first thing on your Friday morning. I don't see any problems for tomorrow morning's commute across the area. Matter of fact, a much milder start. Some sun peaks early tomorrow, too. 7 o'clock, about 64 by 9. 66 and by 11, mild and breezy as temperatures cruise their way close to 70 degrees. So it's a very comfortable night outside tonight. Here's a look at the current temperature 68 officially at the airport. We've got ourselves a light southwesterly breeze at 5. And it's thanks to that light southwesterly breeze, along with some increasing cloud cover overnight tonight, that temperatures will be held up a few degrees. It won't be quite as cool as it's been the past couple of nights around the area. So you see the numbers reflected here. 67 in Mason, Springboro at 66, 62 in Peebles, 68 in Dry Ridge, 67 down there in Owen County right now, 67 as well at Warsaw, 61 respectively in Hamilton and over in Harrison. So here comes the cool front tonight. As it slides in our direction, the issue is, is that there's not a lot of humidity around. You know, it feels very comfortable out, right? So as this cool front arrives tomorrow, there's not going to be much in the way of moisture to wring out of the atmosphere. So that's why I say a passing shower, certainly not an all-day rain event. And I would be surprised if we see any thunder or hear, should I say, hear any thunder or see any lightning tomorrow with any, uh, maybe a few of the heavier downpours. Again, I don't think anything that falls or anything that falls should generally be on the light side. Here's a look at the forecast. Again, this wants to try to bring in a few sprinkles first thing tomorrow morning. While I don't think it's completely out of the question, I don't think we're dealing with a wet commute across the area. The best opportunity for rain will get in here between about 11 and let's say 2 or 3 in the afternoon. And you can see here as the cool front moves through, how some scattered showers try to fire up across the area. The best chance for widespread heavier downpours will generally be across southern parts of northern Kentucky, maybe across some of our northern Kentucky counties. As as you get closer towards I-64, down around Frankfurt and over towards Lexington, and then maybe South Central Ohio. Either way, this is all out of here, just in time for high school football tomorrow evening. It will be turning cooler, and this basically sets the stage for a cool Saturday, but a very nice looking weekend around here. Lots of sunshine expected. That takes us to your Friday night football forecast. I don't think we have any problems underneath the lights tomorrow night. The rain will have been long gone by then. The only concern maybe tomorrow evening, it starts turning a little cool across the area as it turns breezy and temperatures start in the 60s and then end up in the 50s by the time most of the games wrap up. So tonight, 64, the overnight low, mostly cloudy and milder. And then tomorrow, Cloudy and breezy. Again, there may be a few peaks at the sun early. Look for a high of about 71. A passing shower. The best time frame, again, going to be between about 11 and let's say 3 in the afternoon. Although there's a small chance for a sprinkle or two early, I don't think it's a big deal. So 64 at 8 a.m., 68 by lunchtime, and then temperatures will begin to fall back through the 60s after topping out in the low 70s around midday. Here's your seven day forecast. It's cool tomorrow night as we drop to a low around 50, and by cool, I mean we're just going back to where. We should be here in early to mid October. Look at that 67 Saturday, 70s on Sunday. A cool start for tailgaters first thing Sunday morning, but that's perfect weather for all those fans that'll be having a good time. Loving that, Kevin. Thank you. So, six 